In this video, I will show you how to make tandoori bread or tandoori naan as it is known as at home without tandoor. Most people think it is impossible to make tandoori naan without a special oven called tandoor. However, you can see one being made. For those who do not know, this is an extremely popular bread in subcontinental countries which includes India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. And you can see that I'm, I'm making a naan on this flat plate and you should be able to feel crispiness for which such naans are famous. I know most of you are thinking why this bread or naan is not falling off and why this is defying all uh, the rules of gravity. In this video, I will not only show you how to make such naans but will also tell you why this is not falling off the hot plate. And the reason I'm making this video is that I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where people are trying all sorts of complex and difficult methods to make naan. Uh, whereas it is something really, really simple. And I thought I should share my knowledge with you all. So the naan is really crispy and uh, as you can see and will be ready in a few minutes. And it is as good as it can be. Okay. Now it is really difficult to work with one hand, but I'm trying to remove the naan. And as you can see, uh, it is strongly stick to the uh, plate, and the back side is fully cooked as well. And I'm just putting some butter to keep it soft. Okay, first of all, you will have to prepare dough, which is very simple. I prepare dough for eight naans, which is uh, simply four cups of white flour, one teaspoonful of dry yeast, a pinch of baking soda, and half a tea of a teaspoon of salt. Mix it to together, preferably with milk, but water can also be used. Make sure that the dough is not hard or too runny. Cover it up with a cloth and leave it for 4 hours, preferably in a dark place so yeast could do its magic. After 4 hours, this should be the consistency of the dough and it should have risen up to double in size. It should be soft and fluffy. The right consistency is very important. If it is hard, the bread will actually fall off the plate and if it is too runny, then you will not be able to make them in the shape they are. Okay. So you'll also need some water in a small bowl, uh, around one cup, and I'm adding three quarters uh, teaspoon of salt in it. Mix it really well and make sure that this is dissolved. And this is uh, a hot plate. Uh, it does not have any coating on it, uh, made up of iron. And as you can see, I've washed it and you will also need some water in a big uh, saucepan. If you have a spray bottle, then fill this salt water in the spray bottle, which will make it really easy for you to work with. I have decided uh, divided dough into eight small pieces and uh, have given them this round shape and then uh, I've rolled them to make a, a flat bread shape. The bread is now ready to go onto the hot plate. What you do have, what you have to do now is to put some salt water on one side of the bread and make sure that it is completely covered with salt water. And this is why if you have a spray bottle, it is better to use that. Once you have done that, you can put it on hot plate. The stub is already on uh, medium flame. Wait for a while till naan is half cooked. The bottom end is cooking right now. You will see color changing from white to light yellow as the bread is cooked from the lower side. I'm not sure if you can see that. However, you'll see a change in color clearly. Once you are confident that the lower part has been cooked, you can flip over the hot plate.
and make sure that your flame is on high now now one safety warning do not leave the handle of the hot plate alone always keep a tight hold onto it since i'm making a video i had to leave this if you do not hold the handle uh, there is a chance that the hot plate could fall over either damaging your floor or causing an injury to your foot safety is always important no matter what you're cooking so always keep a firm grip on the handle you can see that the bread is now puffing up uh, just like a tandoori naan should and i'm trying to decrease the light it's really difficult to work with one handle and now i'll put some butter on top of it and i will decrease the flame again and just some butter on top of it to make it soft another one uh i will put salt water on all uh, all uh, edges and on the whole surface actually and then simply it goes on to the hot plate same deal again just wait for a while it should be ready in few seconds you can see the color is changing from sides and i will pull the sauce pan once again to the right position and then flip the hot plate over again do not leave the handle at this stage also uh sometimes the the bread puffs up completely to make two layers which some people love however if you do not want that to happen i will also show you a trick in the next part uh, it is really puffing up nicely now and this is the most beautiful bread that you can cook see how nicely it is puffing up and it is becoming crispy from the front it is complete ready and it's time to remove it from the pan from the hot plate and you can see that the bread is firmly stuck to the plate so there's no chance of it falling over uh, and this is because of the salt water that we used uh, we'll see one more put salt water on one side and completely wet this side Uh, especially on the edges and if you do not want the bread to puff up completely use a fork and just tuck it 3 4 times and this area should not puff up if you have done it correctly so uh, flipped over the hot plate and parts of it are puffing up as they should
coming up nicely. So all it is uh, because of the salt water which makes it really stick to the hot plate okay and that's why the bread doesn't fall off. Uh, remove it and I would like to show you the back of it as well so you know that it's not burnt or anything very nicely cooked thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did like it uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up thank you very much